Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tochi. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. So glad to have you. I have gotten such great feedback and such great responses from everyone. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Your support means a lot to me. You know, it, it motivates me. It keeps me going. So thank you so much for all the positive support and all the feedback and everything. Today we're going to be doing the about me tag, the Tochi tag, the get to know me better tag, the 50 random questions slash fact tag. This was recommended to me and I thought, you're right. Why not do that? Especially since you guys, you know, I'm talking to you. It'd be nice if you knew a bit more about me. If you are interested, keep watching. Thank you. I just went from LA. Got niggas from BK. Got a queen from Queen. I'm going to be reading the questions off my phone. These are just random questions that I got off the interweb. They're in no particular order, blah, 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 blah etc, etc, etc. My first name is Toshi. My middle names are Hannah and Fatima. I do not have any nicknames. People call me Toch. People have also tried Chi Chi, but no, thank you. The only nickname that I've had that really stuck, that I loved, was Tio, which Hannah Brown started calling me first. But then when I moved to America, because Spanish is such a widely spoken language here, especially in New York, people would ask me, why is your nickname Uncle? And I was just like, Okay, that's, I'm gonna have to let this one go. I am from Nigeria, I am Nigerian, my family is Nigerian. My grandmother on my father's side is Jamaican and pretty sure that there's some Scottish in there but we're, we're Nigerian. We're, we're very, very Nigerian actually. My favorite color visually is teal. I love the way teal looks. I love that it's a green version of turquoise. I think that's beautiful. But my everyday favorite color is black. I have two favorite restaurants in Lagos. Sal Cafe in Lekki Phase 1. Incredible. I am a shisha person. It's a shisha lounge. Aside from that though, they have incredible jello fries and coleslaw. Their jello fries and coleslaw is banging. My second favorite restaurant in Lagos is the Orchid Bistro on the mainland in GRA on Isaac John. It's incredible. They have the best apple crumble and custard I have had in my entire life and I have had a lot of apple crumble and custard. My favorite restaurant in New York is Horace on Avenue B. It is also a shisha lounge, but they also have great sweet chili wings. I love their wings. I use PCs for architecture related things because the programs that I use tend to work better on PCs but for everything else I'm a Mac person for sure. An iPhone 6s. I really really love the the 7 because it comes in black matte but the whole earphone situation and charging situation not for me. I am a very 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 good cook actually. I'm a great cook and I love to cook. I love to feed people so it's great for everyone. I like to cook, you like to eat. Happy times. Um, favorite book. I wouldn't say, it's hard for me to choose one favorite thing, but the book that has resonated with me deeply um, the most as of recent was Chimamanda Adichie's um, Everybody Should Be a Feminist or Everyone Should Be a Feminist. It took me like half an hour to get through. It's a very quick read, very short book, but it hits some great points. I recommend that book for everybody. In high school, I played football, soccer, football, basketball, volleyball, and I ran track. I am five foot three inches, which is 160 centimeters. People tend to think I'm taller than I am, but I'm a pretty petite person. I was born in London in Hammersmith, to be exact. I have lived in England, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Nigeria, 
and America. I currently live in New York City. I do not know where my accent is from. I tell people that it's an accumulation of my life experiences because that's legitimately what it feels like. When I'm in America, people tell me I sound English. When I'm in England, people ask me where in America I am from. When I'm in Nigeria, people are like, So I don't know what it is, it depends who I'm talking to, what we're talking about, how I'm feeling, what emotions I'm feeling. It's just an accumulation of accents. I don't know, I don't know what, it, I can't give it a specific country or any of that. I am 24 years old. My birthday is August 19th. I am a Leo. I'm on the Leo Virgo cusp. A majority of me is Leo, a large percentage of me is Leo. But a lot of me is also Virgo. I also get along great with Virgos. My rising is Virgo. My moon is Virgo. I was also born premature and if I was born on time, I would be a Virgo. So even though I'm super Leo and I have a lot of Leo qualities, in my heart, in my heart, yeah, in my heart of hearts, yeah, I'm a Virgo. I love astrology and I don't mean like your everyday horoscopes, like your daily horoscopes. I mean like, I love everything to do with astrology and reading up on more information about it. There's actually a great website I use if you're interested. I'm all about energies and stuff. I do not have a favorite food. I am a food person. I love food. I love to eat. But I don't have a favorite food. It's hard for me to pick one food, but I definitely have a sweet tooth. I cannot stand mushrooms. I don't like the texture. It makes me uncomfortable. I am very close to my family. My family and I are very close. Um, specifically in terms of my parents and my siblings, we're, we're a unit. I have two siblings. I have a 20 year old brother and a 17 year old sister. I am currently getting my masters in architecture. My favorite subjects are physics slash engineering slash maths. Tokyo, by far, incredible, love. I also love Japan, which I think was rubbed off on me from my mom because my mom also loves Japan. I have three major scars, one where my appendix was taken out, um, my lower abdomen, one on my knee which I got from playing in the bathroom and having a tile break in my leg, and one on my forehead from a car accident that I had in 2015 outside of Civic Center in Lagos. Shout out to Roxanne, the guy who drove me to the hospital, the doctor who saved my face, Dr. Miracle, thank you, because I call him Dr. Miracle, that's not his actual name, but he saved my face, like my face was split open, it was disgusting, I couldn't even look in the mirror because I was convinced that something was up, like that my face would come out looking jank and I didn't want to have to face it, but this man really saved my face. I treat this scar like a crown because it could have been so much worse. I'm so grateful to God that it wasn't. I would say I am a religious person, yes. I go to church every Sunday unfailingly, willingly, voluntarily. I also volunteer at church. My relationship with God has definitely morphed over the years, but I have finally um, found a relationship with God that wasn't forced upon me, but one that I created myself, naturally. And for that reason, I think it made me a more religious person because I was able to find my own personal relationship with religion without it feeling like it was forced upon me or I had to um, practice my religion in a certain way. I am definitely a sarcastic person. When people ask me, oh, what languages do you speak? I always include sarcasm because sarcasm is a language that people tend to either understand or not. I speak it fluently. I am a very blunt person. I'm very straight to the point, very direct. If I have something I want to tell you, I'm telling you. If I don't want to tell you, I'm not. I don't really beat around the bush. I don't like to sugarcoat the truth. Yeah. I do have piercings, and if you want the details on that, you can watch my previous video because I get into that deeper. I do not have any tattoos, no. I do wear contacts, yes, because I am legally blind. I have been wearing glasses since I was 18 months, so I don't know what life is like without glasses or contacts. I am very, very loyal. I'm a very loyal friend in that, like, when my friends experience emotions, I experience them amplified. So if I have a friend that's happy about something, I experience that happiness 
amplified. But that also means that if someone does something to my friend that saddens them or angers them, I experience that sadness and anger amplified. While my friend may have gotten over a situation and is moving on with life, I will still be vexed, like I will still be heated, I will still be mad. I take the negative things that people may do to my friends as personal attacks and like ready to throw these hands. I do have pets. I have two dogs in Lagos, Rocco and Sheba, and in New York I have a fish, Hershey. She's in there. She's a beta fish. Hershey like low-key traumatized me because the one of the last times I tried to clean her bowl, she jumped out of it and was flipping and flopping on the floor. And if there's not one thing I am not gonna do, I am not gonna be out here like struggling with a slippery fish on a bathroom floor. So I went to the living room. And I was just basically waiting for my fish to die because I didn't know what else to do and I was freaking out. But thank God my flatmate was like, screw it, let me save the day. So she put Hershey back in the bowl. Hershey hated me for a minute, but she got over it because I feed her. I'm not a coffee drinker. I don't really drink coffee. I don't drink coffee at all, actually. I'm not a caffeine person. I've recently started drinking tea more frequently, um, especially in the mornings and the evenings, but yeah, I'm not really a hot drink kind of person. Psychological thrillers are my favorite genre of film, like Saw. I've watched every single Saw at least three times. I'm definitely a night owl, definitely a nocturnal person, but that's not how the world works, so I try to start my day super early, like get to the gym for 6 a.m. Because if not, I'll be in bed until the sun goes down and then I'll start being productive, but that's not conducive to like the way the world works, so. Yeah. I definitely prefer being behind the camera. I love photography, love graphic design, love cooking, and love spoken word. Not performing it, but supporting my friends and going to performances. I believe in karma very much so. I strongly believe that the energy you put out is the energy you receive. I do drive, but not in America. I drive in Lagos. I really like fast vehicles, and a lot of the fast cars I like are manual, so I needed to know how to drive manual because I want to be able to drive these cars. I love, love fast cars, roller coasters, fast vehicles, all of that. Love. Transparency and communication. I know there's only two points, but you'd be surprised how hard it is for people to incorporate transparency and communication into their relationships. It's hard for me to choose one song I haven't repeat because I listen to such a wide variety of music that yeah I can't I can't choose but the last song I have playing on my Spotify is Breakfast in Bed by LMA anyone who knows me knows my number one pet peeves are burps like I cannot stand burps for the life of me I hate burps so much I can't stand it when people don't iron their clothes and use the excuse that the day is going to straighten out their clothes. Like, no, it's not. The day is not going to straighten out your clothes because the day is not an iron. Like, what are you even saying? People take it off the rack, out of the dryer, shake it, fold it, then they put it on, and then they're good. Like, honey, what is you doing? What is you doing? I cannot stand when people floss outside of the bathroom. Like, be talking to me and like, because all I see is food like flying everywhere and like germs and I just don't know what to do with myself. I'm definitely a neat and tidy freak. Like I need things to be straight and in their place and clean and smelling good and all of that. I'm a very, very particular person and pay attention to very specific details which now that I think about it probably makes me a great architect. I cannot stand stains on chairs, you know like in hospitals or in banks. I always end up balancing one cheek on the chair because I just don't know where, I don't know what to do with it. I don't, I don't like stains on chairs. I also can't stand um, flimsy handshakes or flimsy hugs. If you're not a handshaker or a hugger, we can dab, we can wave, we can smile. It's all good. Like we don't need to, we don't need to do all that. My favorite alcoholic beverage is Honey Jack with orange juice that has pulp in it. And I know that's very specific and to some people you may be like, but don't yuck my yum until you've tried it. It's really good. My favorite non-alcoholic drink is a Shelly Temple with no ice. I tend to like 
almost all of my drinks with the wines. For perfumes, I love rouge. For candles, I love sweet smelling candles. And for incense, I'm always buying incense. For incense, I love musk scents. I am definitely a risk taker. I am an adrenaline junkie. I am an adventure seeker. I am a risk taker for sure. Yeah, definitely. I would tell myself that life is a journey and that journeys have their ups and their downs and that you shouldn't define your journey by its downs and that um, I'm gonna be okay. That is what I would tell my younger self then. So she, you're gonna be good. Today, I bought these shoes and they're so cute. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share with everyone you know. If you haven't already, please subscribe and put on the notification button so you know every time I put up a video. God willing, every Wednesday. See you later! Watch if the nigga rock. Never stop, man, I'm on to the very top. Roll me out for the flakes, but they know what's up. Man, I born so easy. Shoot game, make a nigga queasy. Got your girl in the crib on knees. What I'm smoking lost and